The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? It has been three years of dramatic twists and turns in the investigation into the terrorist attack against an American diplomatic facility in Benghazi, Libya. I think that ultimately with your leaving, you accept the culpability for the worst tragedy since 9-11. Now, the stage is set for what could be the biggest showdown yet, as former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton prepares to face the House Select Committee on Benghazi on Thursday. Here's a viewer's guide to watching the hearing. Clinton is central to the investigation and by far the most high-profile person to appear before the committee. But so far, more than 50 people have been interviewed, and dozens more could be called. Who will Clinton be questioned by? A committee of 12 lawmakers, five Democrats and seven Republicans, led by Chairman Trey Gowdy, a former prosecutor from South Carolina who has been beating the drum about the investigation on Sunday talk shows. What I want to know is while violence was going up in Libya, why was our security profile going down? It wasn't even staying the same. Gowdy and his fellow Republicans have insisted that the investigation is about finding the facts, but they say their effort has been held back by their Democratic counterparts. We have been obstructed at every turn by the administration and by the Democrats on our committee who have not lifted one finger to help us solve the riddle to put together the puzzle about how four Americans were killed on September 11, 2012. But in a twist, the Republicans have come under attack for going after Clinton, even by members of their own party. Elijah Cummings, the panel's top Democrat, says the investigation is politically motivated, aimed at damaging Clinton's presidential candidacy. The families came in with tears in their eyes, literally, and said, please do not make this a political football. That's exactly what's happened. Politicized or not, the committee is moving forward, and its members are expected to dig into two major plot lines. Number one, did Clinton's State Department reduce security in Libya prior to the attack and then attempt to cover it up in the aftermath? And number two, did Clinton's private email server expose classified information that may have put the Americans in Benghazi at risk? You might want to get your popcorn ready. The hearing could last eight hours, with each of the 12 committee members allotted time for questioning. Whether it has an impact on Clinton's campaign for the White House remains to be seen, but it won't be the end of the Benghazi saga. After concluding interviews, the panel will publish a report on its findings, expected sometime in, you guessed it, 2016.